Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Vine, and my name is David, and today we're going to be reviewing another ally for the Red Dragon Inn, and this is the Cobalt named Wrench. And Wrench was introduced during the Slugfest Kickstarter of Red Dragon Inn 5. He was an addition that you could add on, and right when I read over his rules and how he played out, I was instantly hooked, and I knew that this would be a character that would rival some of my favorites. And he has gizmos and gadgets. That's why I like him. Um, kind of just because he has like little things on the table helping him out, distracting people, uh, taking damage, taking alcohol content. And it's you can have a little army in front of you. So and I like his art. Uh, the Red Dragon Inn art, I've said it uh, before, it was really nice. And it's something that I say repeatedly on the Slugfest uh, videos of the Red Dragon Inn here. So with all my personal bias laid out there, let's actually see how Rinse plays and show you what comes in this tiny ally box. Let's go. So these are the contents that actually come in the box, the miniature board and the uh, small pieces of gold. I don't actually use these often, uh, as I said before, but they are adorable. Fortified and alcohol content markers here. Uh, these are even nicer than the last ally I did on Pookie because um, they had have these in the Red Dragon N5, and I really prefer these. Uh, then you have the plus marker uh tokens i'll tell you what these do later and then the wrench cardboard components so that is simply what comes in the box now you now let me show you how wrench plays out and how his deck actually works so we have wrench here again this insert comes from the red dragon n5 base set there's no flavor text uh, but there is a helpful guide to all his gizmos and gadgets and how those work so wrench i would say he is an all-around player he has uh, all his gizmos and gadgets, I'll say that a lot during this review, help him and try to keep him from losing damage and or drinking too much or, you know, passing off a lot of damage to the other players. So that is his play style, I would say. It's very fun to play this one because it's such a, a different, unique twist and it's so thematic as well. So within the actual wrench player deck, you have the normal cards, the gambling cards, and the winch cards that you need to compete. Uh, but the other half of the deck are the player cards that you have that have powers, but then mixed in with all that are the gizmos and gadgets, and you can tell the difference between them by the numbers on the sides, and they all have different powers, which I'm gonna go into right now, but let me explain how the gadgets work. So all gadgets are action cards, and you can play one gadget per turn, just like you can play one action card. There is no limit to how many gadgets you can have out at one time. So you can have a small army in front of you, just like I said before. When you summon a gizmo or a gadget, that's where these little wrench cardboard components come into play. You'll put it at the top of the number here, indicating the hit points. They start off with the highest amount. Now people can attack these gizmos and gadgets instead of attacking wrench, and they might want to because some of the abilities might be pretty powerful and they go off every action phase. And I'll tell you how that works in a second, but there are two different types of gizmos and gadgets. Passive ones like this one here, and those are just kind of, um, like like they indicate passive and they would go off if a certain condition is met and that will say right there on the card and there are active ones like this one right here and these active ones always go off during the action phase and you got to remember to execute them or you lose out um so this one says pick another player they lose two fortitude so when my action phase comes here i'll play my action card in addition to executing all my active gizmos and gadgets. At the end of the action phase, this is the balancing mechanism. They tick away one fortitude point and die a little inside, just like all of us. And this is how they keep the army that is in front of Wrench from dominating the complete game. There is something called collateral damage. Now, if the gizmo gadget ticks away and then the last point here ticks to zero, this one is just discarded and no damage is done to wrench. Now, collateral damage happens when somebody attacks the gizmo or gadget and takes it down to zero and it is discarded and it doesn't run its natural course. And that will result in wrench taking one fortitude damage. 
there are other gizmos and gadgets that uh, have different cardboard components like the automatic oral can that basically gives any gadget plus one health it's kind of like a shield you'll just put it on top of the gizmo and once it gets hit it will be removed and if it gets hit, if this one gets hit for two it will take this one off and go down to one so that was the gizmo deck i also want to say that the gizmos are not affected by event or c event cards so they will be affected by uh, players getting hit so if all players were to get hit they would be considered players so that out out of the way um they also help with a variety of things like ignoring drinks and getting gold and hurting people this is the player deck that corresponds with those gizmos and gadgets. The first one that we have up here is the bad gizmo. Don't drink that. Ignore a drink card. Sacrifice a gizmo if you have one. So they, uh, they'll. That's, uh, I mean, that's good art there, and they will sacrifice themselves to help you out and ignore drinks. Uh, this one here is noble sacrifice. Of, of course, it's happening again, and this helps you from getting hit and losing fortitude. The gizmo will jump in the way. I mean, look at that art. It, the red dragon in he looks like a red dragon it's such a great fit this will be perfect for oily in the gears this allows him to ignore stuff like alcohol content and fortitude i think there's a bit of gold in these gears this allows him to get gold again he is an all-around character and he really doesn't have a weakness um he can get uh he be can become in danger in any field fortitude drinking or losing gold if he doesn't draw right but again it's just luck of the cards because he has a little bit of everything and those gizmos really help out and the last few cards that we have is you look thirsty are you thirsty you look really thirsty pick another player they must drink the top drink card from their drink me pile so it he's giving more drinks to another player um and i mean it, it goes on and on and just look at that art scamper away this is where he ignores stuff and they, they'll go on in a pattern of sacrificing gizmos to help yourself out and then trying to to hurt other people and in addition of course he has his gambling cards and the winch cards so that is the basic gameplay of the wrench deck and let me tell you now what i think about this ally and if i think it is a good addition spoilers i like this character a lot so that is wrench now i'm not going to be grading this as a percentage or a letter grade i'm just going to do a thumbs down thumbs sideways or thumbs up a really bad game not recommending it a good game I can recommend it a great game yes I recommend it add it to your Red Dragon and collection but you already know what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna give it a high thumbs up but I'm gonna throw up in a second wrench and give it two wrenches up uh, this rivals my favorite character which is the dwarf which I am completely biased to but the way this ally plays out is something that just revamped the entire game for me because I love the gizmos and I love having a tiny little army in front of me just kind of it's reminding me of kind of Star Wars of having that chess game I just like having that theme and this is just dripping with the red dragon and theme and I personally am a theme guy so this really does accompany the way that I like to play the game and I am highly recommending wrench go in your red dragon and set uh, if you want an ally, this would be the first one I would pick up because it's seamless play and it's just it's just so much fun to play with the character deck and having all that as the Red Dragon Inn experience, but then having this side component where you can put these little robots out. So if you're looking for an ally, I would first pick up a wrench, but that's just my recommendation. I haven't played all the allies yet, but I've played a good handful and wrench is just the end all be all at this point at this point and this player deck might seem godly and un unbalanced but i think it is perfectly balanced because there aren't that many gizmos there's maybe 10 or 15 but they slowly die so if you have a whole bunch in front of you you might have a few big turns but you are playing a lot of cards and you can slowly get them out i mean that takes five rounds to get five gizmos out I've seen him win and I've seen him lose, so I think the balance of this deck is perfect with any Red Dragon M base set. And so I can't say much bad about this ally, I can't recommend it enough. And thank you so much for watching this review, I hope this was insightful and I hope Wrench will make it into your Red Dragon M set soon because he is just a hoot to play.
And I want to send out a huge thanks to Slugfest Games for providing me with this review copy. Couldn't have done it without you. And now I can share this experience with you, the fans out there. And thank you as well for watching this review. And until the next time that I see you, I've been Dave from Game Vine. Have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play. You heard it here on the Game Vine. I'm out. I'm so impressed with this one. Thank you.